Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of cosecant to the fourth x dx. So we have the integral of the power of cosecant x, which is an even number of 4. So if that's the case, I can split the power of cosecant x as cosecant squared x times cosecant squared x dx. And then, I can apply the Pythagorean identity from 1 cosecant squared x in terms of cotangent squared x that's equal to 1 plus cotangent squared x then times cosecant squared x dx. Then, I can distribute this cosecant squared x to every term on the binomial. Let's multiply. 1 times cosecant squared x, that's cosecant squared x plus cotangent squared x times cosecant squared x, so that's cot squared x times cosecant squared x quantity times dx. And then let's distribute the integral symbol together with the dx so we can integrate term by term. So we will have the integral of cosecant squared x dx plus the integral of cotangent squared x cosecant squared x dx. So, for the first integral, we can already evaluate this. The integral of cosecant squared x dx, it's negative cotangent x, right? For the second one, let's apply u substitution first. So, we can let u be equal to cotangent x and getting the derivative of both sets, derivative of u, it's du. Derivative of cotangent x, that's negative cosecant squared x dx. So, we have created this term on the original integral, cosecant squared x dx, but we just have an extra coefficient of negative 1 here. Let's get rid of that by dividing both sides by negative 1. So, we will have negative du is equal to, cancelling out the negative, simply cosecant squared x dx. Okay, if we substitute, we will have the integral of cotangent x, which is u, so, there's a square, so we have u square. And finally, this cosecant squared x dx is equal to negative du. So, this negative 1 here, it's just a constant. So, I can just put in front of the integral. So, we'll have negative integral of u squared du. And then, evaluating this integral, integral of u squared, that's u to the 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1, or we have u cube over 3. Let's just substitute back the u in terms of cotangent x. So we will have negative one-third u, which is cotangent x, then raised to the third. So let's bring down this first integral and combine the two. We have negative cotangent x minus one-third cotangent cube x plus c as the final answer. For number two, we have the integral of cotangent to the fifth x dx. So this time, we have the integral of the power of cotangent x, which is 5, and add power, right? So if that's the case, I can split the power first of cotangent to the fifth x as, so I'll get cotangent squared x, and then I still have cotangent cube x dx. I can apply the Pythagorean identity for cotangent squared x in terms of cosecant squared x. So that's equal to cosecant squared x minus 1 times cotangent cube x dx. I can distribute this cotangent cube x. So we'll have cosecant squared x times cotangent cube x minus 1 times cot cube x. That's cot cube x quantity times dx. So this one, we can already evaluate using u substitution. We let u be equal to cotangent x. For this one, I can split again further the power of cotangent, which is now cube, right? If I do that, I will have cot squared x times cot x dx. And then we will have integral of cosecant squared x cot cube x minus the quantity. I will also transform this cot squared x in terms of cosecant squared x. So that's equal to cosecant squared x minus 1 times cot x 
dx. And then, so let's distribute this negative together with the cotangent on this term on the binomial. So we'll have cos second squared x cotangent cube x. Just copy first. Then negative cot x times cos second squared x. That will be negative cos second squared x cot x. The negative of cotangent x times negative 1, that will be positive cotangent x dx. So we can now distribute this integral symbol together with the dx so we can integrate term by term. We will have the integral of cos second squared x cotangent cube x dx minus the integral of cos second squared x cotangent x dx plus the integral of cot x dx. So all of this integral can now be evaluated. For the first two, I can apply the same new substitution. Let u be equal to cot x and getting the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u is du. Derivative of cot x, that's negative cos second squared x dx. So therefore, we have created this term on the original integral cos second squared x dx but we just need to get rid of this extra coefficient of negative so we will divide both sets by negative 1 we will have negative du is equal to cos second squared x dx so if we substitute in the two integrals we will have for the first one integral of so cot x that's equal to u then raised to the third and then this cos second squared x dx that's equal to negative du. Next, for the second integral, we have negative integral of, again, cot x, which is equal to u. Then this cos second squared x dx is equal to negative du. Let's put this negative 1 in front of the integral. So we'll have negative integral of u cube du. And negative times negative 1, that will be positive 1 or positive integral of u du. And evaluating these two integrals using power rule, we have negative integral of u cube, u to the 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1, or simply u to the 4th over 4, plus the integral of u du, so u has an invisible exponent of 1, so we have u raised to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1, or u squared over 2. And then let's substitute back the u in terms of the original variable, u is cotangent x, so we can have negative 1 fourth cotangent to the fourth x plus 1 half cotangent squared x. Then for the last integral, we have Integral of cot x dx. We already have a formula for that. The integral of cot x dx is ln of sin x. And then let's just put plus c at the end. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.